uh, greetings once again i welcome you to my youtube channel today's video will be busy with data handling a box and whisker diagram let's look at this question which is 4.2.1 let me read the statement mr chavalala did some research on the weight of the workers at box fashion his results are represented in the box and whisker plot in an c study the diagram in an c and answer the questions that follows if we look at an c there we can see that it's written box and whisker diagram of the weight of male and female workers at box fashion for male we check here we are having male whereby the minimum is approximately 50 we can say 52 the q1 is around 60 q2 which is our median is around 74 q3 is around 83 and then the maximum here is 120. looking at the female we see that the minimum is around 38 uh, Q1 is at 50 and then Q2 is around 57 and then Q3 is around 68 then the maximum here is around the 92 the actual weight in kg so uh, maybe somebody is not uh, following well I took the myth the minimum the maximum and then the q1 and the q2 so the box and whisker diagram is saving this shape good people it's saving this shape this is the box and whisker diagram that's the shape that we have and what you need to know about this box and whisker diagram is that this first line here represent the minimum represent the maximum represent the q1 represent q2 sometimes called medium q2 is also known as medium or median i mean or the middle number and then we have q3 and then in terms of the percentage you must know that minimum represents zero percent q1 represent 25 percent q2 represent 50 percent and then q3 represents 75 percent then the maximum represent 100 percent this is the most important information that you should know about the box and whisker diagram let's look at the first question they say write down the median weight of a female workers so median we found it here under q2 so you look at the female you locate or you trace this line where is the line giving you on the female so when you check here on the female it lead us to approximately what female approximately 56 so we can say the answer for 4.2.1 is median is equal to 56 kg let's move to 4.2 4.2.2 it says that explain the meaning of the value 50 in the box and whisker plot for female so if you check here on the box and whisker the 50 is found where let me try to draw it here this is our box and whisker plot So if you can check, 50 is somewhere here. When it's somewhere there, it goes along with what? With Q1, like I explained before. It's in the position of Q1. So what does this 50 represent? You can say that it represents Q1, which is a first quantile or lower quantile. You can say that 50 represent, let me write it here. 
50 represent Q1, which is what? First quantile. Or you can say 50 represent what? 25% uh, of data. 50 represent first quantile or it represent 25% of data. Like I explained in the previous question that Q1 is 50, is 25%, then Q2 is 25%. So we are dealing with Q1 in this question. What does this Q1 represent? It represents 25%. What does this 50 represent? I mean, it represents Q1, which is the first quantile, or it represents 25%. We are done answering that question. We move to the next question, which is 4.2.3. 4.2.3. It says that Mr. Chavalala stated that the interquantile range, the interquantile range, the interquantile range for the male workers is double that of the female workers. Determine the difference between the interquantile range of male workers and female workers and this decide whether his statement is true or not. So now they want us to determine or to calculate the interquantile range of female workers and the interquantile range of male workers. And to check if the statement that is saying that that one of a male is double that one of a female. Let's check. I will use black for the interquantile range of a male. So interquantile range, we know that interquantile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. I've already explained it, where do we get the third quantile and where do we get the first quantile. So let's go and check the male one. If you look at the male one, uh, the one that is above, we see that our Q3 here is approximately 87. We are going to have 87 minus the first quantile of male. The first quantile of male is approximately 61. And then we find that the answer when you do the calculation here is 26 kg. 26 kg. That one is the interquantile range of male workers. I'll use the red one for the interquantile range for female workers. The interquantile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Now we are going to use the female box and whisker diagram. If we check our interquantile range or our Q3, the third quantile for female is approximately 68. We're going to have 68 minus Q1 of the female or the first quantile of the female which is approximately what 50. so when you find the difference you say 68 minus 50 we know that is going to be 18 kg what is the claim the claim is that this multiplied by 2 is equal to 26 that's what he is saying so Let's look at the difference. Uh, let's look at the difference to check if this is correct. Because they say determine the difference between the interquantile range for male workers and female workers and decide whether this statement is valid. So difference is going to be what? 26 kg minus 18 kg what is our answer when we use a calculator here we're going to get 8 kg 8 kg i hope you can see that his statement is not true is invalid incorrect this statement is incorrect for this statement to be correct we're supposed to have a half of 26 
if you got a half of 26 we're going to say the statement is correct but if you look at eight eight is not half of 26 the difference is supposed to be half of 26 so that we know that when we multiply the difference by two it will give us 26 to make um uh, to make our the statement to be true where you say that the uh, the workers the male workers is double that of the female workers so this is how we answer this question thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much to be part of this channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video questions you can leave them in the comment section i will attend them i will see you on the next video